right. Well, today is the day I have my first doctor's appointment. Unfortunately, this will not be the doctor that I stick with throughout my pregnancy. I'm just doing this to confirm my pregnancy and exactly how far along I am. I'm going to shop around for some OBGYNs. My family doctor, who has delivered all of my babies, cannot deliver this baby since I had a c-section with Hazel. Um, he doesn't do v-backs or doesn't specialize in c-section so the health board ruled against that. So now I am shopping for an OB and preferably one that can do a water birth. I would love to do a water birth. I would love to do hypno birthing. This I've pretty much experienced it all. You know, I've had my water break. I've been induced. I've had a C-section. The only thing I haven't tried is having a natural birth. So that's really what I'm going for this time. I really don't know what this glare is right here. Don't know why it's there. Oh, that was weird. I went away. There it is again. My phone just keeps slipping. Um, but yeah, I'm very nervous for my appointment. This is the makeup left over from last night, so I'm just gonna kind of like retouch on it. I just comb my hair and then I'm good to go for the day. going to wake the kids up and get dressed and ready for the day so all right see you soon so my mom let me borrow her car because I hate driving so much freaking anxiety gets the best of me so I'm really not looking forward to driving minutes finally got pulled back um we're gonna do a transvaginal so we'll see how this goes the kids while I took this car out to the doctor's appointment and he wanted me to be home at 11.15 and it is 11.10 and it's going to be like a 30 minute drive back home. <sighs> it's in that doctor's office for two freaking hours guys. Two hours. Hey guys so I am home right now and um, makeup's kind of smeared. I've been crying. I really don't know what to think right now. I went in for an ultrasound and uh, we saw the gestational sac, but that was it. So I go in on next Monday for another ultrasound to see if a baby develops. I mean, I'm guessing I'm four or five weeks then at this point. Um, I mean, if I am, then I don't know, these dates don't really make sense. and. I mean, at least if I were five weeks, I would expect a yolk sac to be in the gestational sac. I'm going to show you a picture of what my ultrasound looked like. This is not my ultrasound. Okay, 
Now this is what I expected my ultrasound to at least look like if I were to be five weeks pregnant. Um, it would have a yolk sac inside of the gestational sac. So just the fact that I saw just the gestational sac um, just kind of upset me. I mean, for my last miss period, I should be eight weeks, but I definitely know I ovulated late. I would think I'm at least six weeks pregnant, but um, what, we're just we're not sure. They did go ahead and do a blood draw, but they didn't check my beta or my HTG levels or whatever. They just took my blood for screenings and whatnot. Just kind of upset. This is not how I was expecting the ultrasound to go. The nurse was really nice and she tried to convince me otherwise and to keep everything light-minded. With Hazel and Carter, when I had ultrasounds with them, I went in early and I was five weeks. With Carter, I was five weeks and two days and with Hazel, I was five weeks and five days pregnant. And with both of them, there was a gestational sac, and then on the inside of the gestational sac was a little tiny yolk sac. And I remember with Carter, I freaked out and I cried, and I went home from work that day just because I couldn't function, and the lady said that my baby had no heartbeat, and so it just freaked me out. And I went in like two weeks later, and I saw him, and he was perfectly fine. Um, I think maybe a week is too early. I mean, if I am four weeks pregnant, I still wouldn't be able to see the baby next week, if that were the case, you know? And if I was five weeks, why is there no yolk sac there? So, I don't know. I really don't know what to think. This is not the first ultrasound experience that I was expecting. For right now, I'm just going to go and lay down and take a nap and get my mind off all this while it's still hot and fresh and just hope for the best. Hey, so I have been able to calmly just reflect on everything that has happened today. Well, when I went into the doctor's office, I was really nervous. Um, I just had this horrible gut feeling, felt like puking. It just, it was not a good feeling. It was something that was eating at me. So I get called back and we do the ultrasound. We do a transvaginal ultrasound and uh, we don't see anything besides a gestational sac. I was asked multiple times if I had noticed anything wrong and I said no. And so we ended the ultrasound there. I consulted one of the nurses there and she as well kept asking me, did you notice anything wrong? Was there anything wrong? And you know, I said no, I didn't notice anything like weird or wrong, no cramping or anything. So, um, I don't know what, I just, I don't know what to feel right now. I mean, if, I, I heard the nurse throw around the date August 3rd. I don't know how accurate that is just because we haven't seen a baby on the ultrasound. I mean, if August 3rd was my due date, I would be five weeks and five days right now instead of six weeks and three days. I just won't know until next week. I won't have answers until next week. I was pretty sure that I was further along than I thought. I got a positive pregnancy test 13 days ago. I don't know how these numbers and dates will match up. I just won't know. I won't know until next Monday and... Like I said, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say besides that because I just, I honestly, I don't know. Fingers are crossed for a good appointment on Monday. Thanks for watching and thank you for following along with this crazy journey. All right, see you guys.